Welcome to this Windows video and today we're going to talk about computer freezes. You know when that computer stops responding to anything you want, anything you do. Um, here are some general tips and tricks that you can actually uh, look for. Um, basically when a computer freezes it's because some code send it into a loop and it's kind of looping around in the same thing and it's not actually taking the time to look at what's happening in the outside world so it just freezes there but there are different types of freezes there's you know an app or a program that can freeze but the rest of the computer can be fine um, it could be the f computer freezes and there's like uh, nothing you can do and even the mouse pointer doesn't move or it can be kind of in between the computer is kind of frozen pretty much um, nothing works in Windows or in a program but your mouse pointer can still move around uh, it's not always easy to understand what actually makes a computer freeze but the first thing that you need to actually uh, think about is was there any changes done to the computer in between the time it worked well and the time that it froze? Is there a new program or a new app installed? Was there an update to a program? Did your antivirus find an update? Did Windows do updates? That's the first thing to think about. Is there anything new or is something has changed in your computer for it to freeze. If nothing has changed or if you answer no to pretty much any um, of those questions then the second thing that you'll need to uh, check for is uh, to make sure that your computer is well ventilated. Make sure that your laptop or desktop isn't hot, isn't going too warm because a hot computer can actually freeze quite rapidly. Um, if you have a desktop, make sure that it is well ventilated, make sure that the fans work. Uh, if you have a laptop, make sure that you hear the fans work. Make sure that your computer seems to work normally. If uh, it's freezing and you don't really know why, there are also some hardware problems that can actually make a computer freeze. Uh, RAM, bad RAM can sometimes make a computer freeze. Uh, it can sometimes make a computer go into the blue screen of debt. Is your computer freezing and also having blue screens? Uh, that's also an indication that something is wrong. Um, what actually makes your com computer freeze also is very important to pin down. Is it freezing randomly? or it's freezing when you do a specific thing. That's very important because it freezes only when you do a specific thing. Then you can actually pin down what might actually be a problem and what might actually be freezing your computer. For example, if it's freezing every time you're playing a computer game, but never when you do something else, uh, if it's the same game, it could be the game itself. If it's Every time you play a game with intense computer graphics, maybe your uh, graphics card is overeating. That is a possibility. Uh, maybe you need to have a better cooling of your computer. Um, make sure that you have the latest drivers. That's very important. Drivers are the little programs that actually explain to Windows how a computer hardware part works and you know they get updated all the time so if your computer starts freezing when you do something maybe you need to update your graphic card driver your network driver your sound driver update everything that you can um, to update these drivers the best bet is to go to the manufacturer's website if you've got a Dell, a Toshiba, an HP uh, Acer or so on go to that company's website make sure you know the model number of your computer and that you're entering it in the support section there you'll see that in the support section there are 
drivers for your computer and that's very important this is where you'll find updates to these drivers basically drivers are updated because they are either buggy or they are fine but they update them to have new features that are available as technology moves on so these are all little things that you can check for make sure that anything uh, hasn't changed and try to pin down what actually freezes on a random freeze it can get very very complex and you know your computer can't freeze because of hardware malfunction um, another thing that I've seen very often in a computer freezing randomly is a uh, defective hard drive if your hard drive starts having problems reading sectors on your hard on the, the surface what's happening is that that hard drive of yours tries to read a piece of information and it tries so many times that your computer seems to freeze up and then it might unfreeze after a minute or two so these are all little details that help you um, you know pin down what can be a problem and um, you know if it doesn't work one thing that you can of course try is do a refresh um, in your computer or reinstall a refresh um, of your PC by removing everything you click the one that remove everything and reinstall Windows can of course fix a problem of a freezing computer uh, scan your computer for viruses very important viruses and malware can very often freeze up your computer and make it really really uh, work badly so that's also something that you need to check for uh, scan your computer with an antivirus um, scan your computer with malware bytes um, so make sure that you don't have any of those malware or viruses on your machine that also is often often a cause of either blue screens or frozen computers and if you reinstall a fresh copy of Windows and it still freezes then a problem that might actually be happening is hardware you might need to have your computer checked by a tech guy because if you reinstall and with the original install of your computer it still freezes it means that something in the hardware is going wrong on your computer so that's also a strong indication of hardware failure so these are the general tips and tricks that I can give you that you can maybe check and try to pin down slowly what might be going around on your computer and uh, hopefully you'll be able to uh, do something and uh, fix your own frozen computer if you have any videos that you'd like us to make about a Windows subject why not let us know maybe you uh, like our videos you can also subscribe by subscribing you'll know when new videos are online and um, you know if you you're new to Windows 8 why not check with um, our videos we have lots of videos to help you learn how to use Windows 8 to the max thanks for watching and hope to see you again bye bye